So the question is, uh, how can one join ISKCON? There are, of course, many factors that can propel one to join ISKCON. Because we have to know that uh, ISKCON is a spiritual organization. ISKCON is for the spiritual uplift, up, upliftment of, uh, of mankind so that uh, we can uh, understand basically that this world, this material world, is not uh, a place for us to reside. It's actually it's a place full of misery, full of suffering. But we are, there's a different home, which is the spiritual world. Spiritual world is the kingdom of God. So we actually belong there only. So it's like Papa, our founder Acharya, uh, his motto is back home, back to God, which is back to the kingdom of God, the spiritual world. So, as a member of ISKCON, basically, we are not interested in trying to be somebody in the material world. Our interest is how to get out of the material world and go to the spiritual world. But going to the spiritual world, of course, is, uh, it requires um, you know, activities. It requires restraint. Uh, it requires rules, regulations, which are not difficult in themselves. The rules and regulations in the beginning may be, may be look on to be like difficult. But after some time, it becomes one's lifestyle. So it's no more something that is difficult. It's actually something that is pleasurable. So, to join ISKCON, basically, one has to first understand that uh, this world is simply full of pain. And uh, we, want to, we want to make an effort um, to stop the pain, which means to stop our habitation in the material world. So, it, in the, initially, we gain some attraction to, to the devotees of Krishna. We gain some attraction to their way of living, uh, the lifestyles. And this will do basically, especially if we go to the temple, uh, we hear the kirtan, that is kirtans, the Buddhists are chanting, and then um, there is a spiritual food, which is called prasadam. And this food are normally not ordinary food, because if you take prasad, because prasad is a food that is being offered to Krishna, and this is what devotees, this is what they eat. And by eating this food, one becomes uh, spiritually energized by eating this food. So in this way, uh, one begins one transformation from a materialistic um, environment or existence into spiritual existence. So the beginning of joining the society or joining the ISKCON, it becomes like that, which means initially we go to the temple, we are hearing the kirtans, and then we attend the classes. Because normally our temple every day there is a discussion in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, in the evening time there is also the Bhagavad Gita classes, whereby the spiritual topics are always been discussed. So the more we are attending the classes and the more we are taking part in the Kirtan, the congregational chanting of the holiness for the Lord, so the more our eagerness will develop. And then eventually we start feeling some kind of uh, restlessness to be in the materialistic environment. Because in this material world, everyone is only interested in the, about themselves. Everyone is only interested about what is good for themselves, not really what is good for the other person. But the Buddhists of Krishna, they actually have an interest in each other. They have, in, they have interest in, this, in the society. So therefore, when we start associ associating with the devotees, and we started realizing that uh, there is no really better friend than the devotee of Krishna. 
no better family members than, than the devotees of Krishna. And then in this way, our, our identification with the devotees uh, increasing. And in this way, gradually, we, we, become, we, we, get, uh, we, get, we get ourselves involved more and more, more and more, more and more intimately with the devotees. And then basically that's how we join. It begins with initial attraction to, to the devotees' activities, to the devotees, uh, the temple, uh, discussion of uh, Krishna consciousness according to the teachings of Bhagavad Gita and, or, and other uh, spiritual uh, topics. Hare Krishna.